There is a very unique variation of the list block that's called the summary list block on software. That block is designed specifically to give an overview of your database. But the setup for that list block is a little different and requires some extra work on the Airtable side. Let's walk through together how we can easily set that up. All right, let's first add the summary list block to our list page. And we currently have an employee directory block here. Let's say for the summary block, we want to summarize the total employees in each department. Let's link the Airtable base in our data source tab. And for the table, we can't just simply link it to our employees table because on the Airtable side, we do not have any info that we can use to display the total count of the employees by department. So what we need to do is uh, we need to do the calculation on our own and we need to create a new table called summary on the Airtable side. And on the summary table, I have listed out all the departments in the first column. And for the second column, I added a linked record field that is linked to our employees table. And in this field, I basically linked all the employees to their respective departments. Then I added a count field here. I named it sum, which calculates the employees count by department based on how many people that each linked field has here. Next, I made a single text field and named it color. The color hex code here would be used to label the summary block. If you do not know where to find this color code, I will link these online tool in the description below. You can find the hex code here after the hashtag. Simply copy the entire code with the hashtag and then paste it into your color field. Now let's head back to Softer and we will link it to our summary table and head to the features tab and then link the label to our department field, value to our sum field, and then color to our color field. If you do not have a color field, software will simply just use a random color for the entire block. There are a lot of ways that you can use this block for, not just to show you know, total counts. You can basically display any number in the value field here. So play around on the Airtable side with different formulas and find the right one for your specific use case. I hope you enjoyed the video and find it helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing for more content coming your way and like this video and share this video with your fellow no-code builders. Until next time, 